It's January 2023. Happy New Year! And yes, since I came back from the from Scarborough, well, it was Christmas and then it was New Year and, and here we are. I mean, I couldn't have asked for the sessions in Scarborough to go any better. It really was such a fantastic four days. The fact that we tracked nine or ten songs in two days and then did the vocals on on day three and four. I, I, I still can't believe how well it went and I really couldn't have asked for it to go any better. And really, I'm just so thankful to Chris and to everyone, the session musicians, everyone who 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 was who were working with me on those four days and I'm incredibly thankful to everyone. So on my return home I got all the stems from the studio and I've begun mixing the different tracks and getting them ready to be mastered. And did I underestimate this part? Maybe slightly, I think you know, it's a section that I really want to get right, and the recordings themselves sound so good. I want to make sure that I give the mixers what they need and don't ruin a, the good recordings that they are. What has been really helpful is to make notes as I go along, so I have my notebook here and these are my notes for Broken Star, uh, one of the songs on the album. And it's literally just telling myself what I've done so far, and then I know kind of what I need to do. And I think mixing is one of those things of you have to work on it for a couple of hours, and then walk away, then listen to it back the next day. Because honestly, if you try to do hours and hours, you you, you you stop hearing what it needs and it's 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 such a it's it, you have to be so patient with it it does take quite a long time i've got about another eight nine songs to mix i still don't quite know how it's going to unfold but i'm just trying not to worry too much about that this stage i just want to really focus on the mixing and then when i get to the next stage of mastering and packaging and cover art and marketing, all of that, I mean, it's, it's huge. I, I'll just focus on one thing at a time and just, just stay level-headed, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm so scared of you and the things you do. You say I love you and I tell So what's happened since January? Well, I'm still in the throes of mixing. It takes so long. Uh, Chris has been very helpful though. He's been, when we've had video calls and when he's had a listen to some of my mixes that I've done and he's had suggestions about, you know, maybe you could do it like this or do it like that. And that's been incredibly helpful. It's just good just to have a, a group of people to be able to listen to it, whether it's family or friends, just to get their input. Because uh, it is, it's very difficult, but I do not regret at all doing this myself, because I know that I'm more than capable of doing it. It's just all, it's a learning curve, you know, you don't learn unless you do it. And I've really, I've really enjoyed doing it for sure. I will say that every mix that I've done, um, going through it chronologically, they've got better <laughs> as I've gone through. So I think the first track that I worked on was Way to the World. And when I compare that to the mixes that I'm working on at the moment, the mix I'm working on at the moment is Family. And yeah, I mean, Family just, I think, just sounds so good. I'm really proud of that mix. I think, you know, it sounds so great. And it's just working out, trial and error, what works, what doesn't, what does the music need, and each track is slightly different, so you have to do different things. But yeah, I'm I'm really happy with how Family's turned out. It's taken a long time. I started mixing it at the end of February, and due to a variety of reasons, because I've, ha I've had to balance this with part-time job, with doing doing Radio Tyneside in Newcastle, my curtain-up show there, 
so juggling all of these different things and just life in general, you know, it, it does take a little bit longer. But and family was a really um, has been a more difficult track because there were so many things going on there, lots of drums, lots of things happening. So that that's taken a lot to kind of work through what's needed and how I should craft the sound. Um, but I feel like I've really cracked how to do that and it's sounding fantastic. And then I do want to go back down to Scarborough to Chris's new studio because he's been busy working on the new studio, on the new Backview studio. It looks fantastic. And I'm hoping to do a, a couple of overdubs there, nothing, nothing really major, just on the track family. Uh, it definitely needs some backing vocals. And just to have a listen through everything, I'm hoping by that point everything else will be complete so uh, we can listen through it all. Well, I can't believe it, but dare I say it, I am now at the end of the mixing process. It has been a long process, but I am so happy with the results. Um, the album, I think, is sounding great. And it's really difficult for me to say that as well, because I'm quite critical um, about my own work. But yes, it's been a long learning curve. I naively thought, I think, at the start of this mixing process, when I came back from uh, Beckview Studios in Scarborough, at the start of November, I thought, oh, well, I'll have the mixing done by the end of January or something like that. And yes, I just really underestimated how long it takes. And I kind of <laughs> became quite obsessed with getting all the drums sounding right. Um, it was a it was a big part getting all those drums sounding right. Um, but yeah, I kind of I kind of fell in love with mixing as I went through. Um, so you know, it's something I never thought I would be able to do, and I feel like I've done it now, and I'm I'm really I'm really quite proud of myself that I've I've done it because I, I never thought I could. I got to a point in the process when I was mixing all the different tracks, and Kill the Water was still sort of sitting there, and. I, I had to ask myself the question, does the album need it? Does it enhance the listening experience? And when I took it out, I realised that the album actually comes to about 39 minutes or so. And even though I'm still very fond of it, I realised, you know what? I don't think it belongs in this collection of songs. I never wrote it originally to be part of this album and so it was kind of with a heavy heart I realised that the right executive decision to be made was to cut it from the album. Midnight Sky will kind of end side A and then side B would begin with Scared of You. So what is the plan now? Well, on Monday, I'm actually going back down to Scarborough to the new Beckview Studios to record the final overdub for the album. We realised, me and Chris realised after the session in late October, early November in the old Beckview Studios that Family really needed some backing vocals Fortunately, we're going to be working with a really great vocalist called Terry Ann. She's from the band Nalgo Bay, so I'm really looking forward to working with her on that. After we've recorded Terry Ann, I'll mix her backing vocals into Family, and then we'll be listening through everything. We'll be listening to the to the album in full with Matt Bernard who will be mastering the album for me. And I'm really excited because I, I, it'll be really great for him to hear the material for the first time and to get his thoughts. And it's just finalizing all the mixes for him to then take away and to master. So I will be taking this camcorder with me to the studios in Scarborough to take some video of that session. So that'll be fun. And it's weird because this, I think, will actually be probably the last video 
that I'll be doing in this space because I am relocating my studio and I'm moving it to the to the basement area of my home and originally I thought that that area would be ready and set up for my studio for the start of this mixing process and it's taken us a lot longer to get it ready but it's finally ready and I'm really looking forward to using it for future projects. Tell I'm me. filming now, filming you now. tell me when you're ready to. I'm filming now. <laughs> Scared one at home. <laughs> <laughs> The last 24 hours have been really productive. So last night we recorded Terry Ann's vocals, backing vocals for the track Family. And it just went really well, that session. The contributions that she made along with Harry, they both had some really great suggestions for those backing vocals. And yes, it was really great to work with them. So that went very well last night. And then today we mixed those vocals into the track, into the track family. And this afternoon Matt Bernard came and we listened through the entire album, listened to all the mixes, and then we made notes about what each track needed um, so that they were ready for the mastering process. And so we worked on epilogue on the epilogue of the album and tomorrow we are going through all the other tracks so we are getting there and I'm very excited um, a bit emotionally drained but very excited well we are at the end of day two of this process at the new Beckview Studios and the tracks on have come come on so far and we know where we're going now with them um, and it's all thanks to to Matt over here, Hello. and um, and Chris as well, who's been dipping in and out. And yeah, we'll just see how things go from this point on. But it's sounding really great, and I'm so incredibly grateful to both of them. Do you like the new studio, Tina? Yes. <laughs> Well, it's Wednesday, the 6th of December, 2023, and welcome to my new studio. I love it. I still need to do a bit more decorating, personalise it a bit more, but Tina, my cat, approves, so that's all I could ask for. Since my last video diary entry, which was at Beckview Studio, I've just been working out the last few steps of the creative process for making this album and I can finally say that the album is ready and it's finished which I'm still getting my head around. It's been really exciting. So I guess the main reason why I haven't done any video diary entries since July is just, just been little bits for me to sort out to ensure that the final steps happened as they should and just to work out everything. So after we had recorded the backing vocals and started sorting out those final mixes, Matt Barnard took away the mixes and finalised them and then did the masters and then he got back to me and we, we went through the masters until we got to a version that we were both happy with and he did such a fantastic job. I am so happy with them and I can't thank him or Chris Jones enough. So whilst Matt was working on the masters and we were getting the masters finalized, I went about sorting the cover art and getting the photographs for that taken. And it was important for me that it reflected the concept of the album, which was 
using a weaving loom as a metaphor for life. And I, I knew that was important because it had to reflect what the music was about. It had to reflect the name of the album, which is Sunthread. So I was fortunate enough to borrow a weaving loom off a family friend. It was very kind of them to let me borrow it. I was also fortunate to work with Jeremy and Lizzie, who kindly took the photographs for me. And yeah, they were really great. I, I know them well. And so it was just great to work with them because taking photographs can sometimes be a bit of a strange scenario. You can be quite self-conscious. So it was really important that I worked with someone that I knew well to do those photographs. And yes, um, they came out really well and I was really, really happy with them. But seeing the cover art with the final masters and seeing it all together, it, it was just so surreal to think, right, well, that's it done. So I'm just going to see what happens next and just keep persevering. I have such a lovely studio to work out of now. I love this new studio space. It's just fantastic. So it's onwards and upwards. Well, here we are, Wednesday, the 28th of August. I'm now at the end of this album documentary. This is my final entry and yeah, I can't quite believe it. And Sunthread has finally been released. And I think the question on everyone's lips is going to be, why did it take you so long, James? So when it got to New Year 2024, it was, it was great because it was like, oh, the album's done, brilliant. Now I just need to release it. And that was a lot more difficult than what I thought it was going to be. I hadn't really thought about it too much because I wanted to focus on what was in hand because there were so many elements of the process to think of. So when I got to the releasing the album, I really had to think of what platform I wanted it to be on, who was going to release it, how was it going to be released? And so I had to really do my research into that and that took a lot of time. And ultimately what I decided to do was to go with a digital distributor to get it on all the major streaming platforms. So the one I decided to go with was CD Baby and I like the business model, so I went with them. The advantage of it taking longer was that what was quite nice was to be able to leave the album for a amount of time and come back to it and listen to it and still loving it. So that was wonderful. Um, giving it that space really made me appreciate the work that had gone into it and how pleased I was with the result. Reflecting on this album as a whole, wow, well, I have just learned so much from this process. I mean, it's been two years of hard work and nearly every stage I have underestimated how long it would take, but I am so pleased with the results. I feel so grateful to the people who I've collaborated on this with. I'm so grateful to Chris Jones and to Matt Barnard and to the session musicians and to my family as well, because they've listened to various the various songs at the various stages and they've been so so supportive and I couldn't have done this without them. So, for, so a huge thank you to my family and friends for that, for supporting me. I would love to do another album. I feel like there's so much more I could write about and that's what, in one sense, it's kind of confirmed to me that this is what I want to do in life because I, I love writing. I really, I can't describe what songwriting is is to me. And then taking those songs and then realising them in music production. So now I love working in the studio and I love my new studio space. It's a little bit more decorated since you were last here. I've got some more posters up, but it's still, still a work in progress. I'm going to get some more things in here to help deaden the sound. It's still a little echoey than what I would like it to be but I will get that sorted. But no, I, I, when I think about where, when I started this album to where I am now, it's been a huge journey. And so I'm just so, so happy. 
Honestly, I feel that as a songwriter, I want to write songs that people can connect with emotionally. And if people can do that with my songs, then I feel like I've done my job well. So until next time, it's goodbye from me here in my studio in Northumberland. And I hope you enjoy listening to Sunthread. It's available on all the major streaming platforms. So do check it out. And I do hope you enjoy listening to it.